Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create grids within grids. Uh, turning an element into a grid only affects the behavior of its direct descendants. So by turning uh, a direct descendant into a grid, you have a grid within a grid. For example, by setting display and grid template columns properties of the element with item 3 class, you create a grid within your grid. Turn the element with item 3 class into a grid with two columns with a width of auto and one fraction using display and grid template columns. Okay, so let's look at this. Turn item three. Okay, so item three is this guy. Okay, they were nice enough to tell us where to write our code. <clears throat> the pale turquoise. So our grid area is content. This is item three in here. Um, item three, it's got item one, item two, and item four. Let's just write a little P in here. This, this just shows us which one it is. Hi. It says hi in there. Interesting. Okay, so item two. Yeah, item one and item two say paragraph one and paragraph two within them. If I were to move this. Sometimes I just like to throw little things in there so I can see what's going on. If I throw hi in there, it uh, provides an example for where we are in the code. Cool. Anyway, so what we want to do is we want to enter some code in here that makes that work. Hmm, item 3. So these are within item 3. They're within the pale, pale uh, blue. Um, item 1, no, item... <laughs> That's annoying. Instead of, they spelt it out, item, and then spelled out one is here, and then you'll get, that's where you get this pale green, and that's where paragraph one is. Oh, that's silly. Um, good templates properly. Item three should have grid templates columns. Grid template columns. With, um, Okay, so we want two columns with the width of auto. So we want to say repeat twice min max of auto and one fraction. I don't think that this is 100% right. Let's run the test and see. Item 3 class should have a grid template columns, grid template columns property with auto and one fraction as values. Item 3 should have a display property with the value of grid. Oh, should we, do we need to write display grid in here? I bet this is what they wanted. And so now, if we were to, well, auto and one fraction, that means it's kind of a weird thing to say. Hmm. I wonder if this passes the tests. Okay, so we've got the display property with a value of grid, but item three should have a grid template, grid template columns property with auto and one. Okay, so maybe what I need to do is just... Oh, there doesn't need to be a comma in there. Hmm, that doesn't get it the right one. Maybe we don't need to repeat the two columns. Hmm, interesting. So we want to write display grid and then grid template columns auto one um, fraction. So I think that because there are two items in there, we're auto sizing them. And that should be... Oh, okay, so the first one is set to auto and the second one is set to one fraction. But that's weird because if it was auto and then one fraction. Hmm. Anyways, I don't entirely understand this, but hope this, uh, th this is the way to pass the uh, tests and uh, hopefully you guys understood this a little more than I did. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.